Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to test the performance of YOLO V9 model. Yes, the latest YOLO release and we are, we are gonna just use the pre-trained weights and test on images, videos and live webcam. So I'll just show you how to, you know, carry on step by step process of um, running the code and analyzing the result. So for today's video, I'm going to run the code on Visual Studio and there is one more notebook file uh, in which I have mentioned all the steps and I am running it and explaining it so that it is easier for uh, you to replicate it and run on your own local. So let's get started. So the first step will be to create a notebook file in your Visual Studio and clone the official directory. So this is the... Uh, official directory yolo v9 and you can uh, clone the code from here you can just copy this http this whole github link and you can clone it using git clone and this particular repository i have already cloned it to i have just run run it once to see my analysis and my result so i'm not going to do it now but this is the process of cloning it and then this there you will get one directory yolo v9 and then you can in go inside this directory using cd yolo v9 so you will get these particular things you will get a uh, few scripts uh, yaml file and all the needed files required to run this script so you know uh, i have done ls and these are the scripts which are already there so we don't need to do a lot of coding just few tweaking and adjusting downloading weights and then running and analyzing right now but first step and the most important step is uh, installation of requirements file because um, for each uh, change in version there are different other changes and other dependencies right so we need to ensure that uh, we are running the code on the same version it has been previously tested so this is the requirements file it will be there inside this yolo v9 directory and these are all the libraries which we need to install so we have one requirements.txt you can install it using pip pip3 install hyphen r means recursive recursively for each libraries and the requirements.txt it will ensure that you have all those uh, packages with the same version which was used while creating these scripts then next next step will be to download the weights so yolo v9 has two types of weight yolo v9 and galan uh, version so if you are aware of how and what changes has been done in yolo v9 from the previous previous version yolo v8 then you will get to know that there are two two types of changes that has been done probably in my next videos i am going to share about these two versions but right now we're just going to download it and we are going to use it to analyze the result so i have used curl because right now i'm using mac os and hyphen l o capital l o and then github link these links contain uh, you know these uh, all the weights so um, you can use wget if you're using linux and similarly other commands um, if you're using other os so it will download all these uh, weights file inside this directory as you can see yolo v9 hyphen e c and these two galan c so these are the pre-trained weights we need to run and analyze our data next uh, i am downloading one image which is very popular image this one that is that people use nowadays uh, especially atrolytics uh, to test their model so i have downloaded that and first i am going to check and analyze my result on this image so you can just use this particular detect.py python file and for right now we're gonna we're not gonna change any of the hyperparameter we are gonna just use it the default one because i need to analyze the results on the default setting and then we this hyphen hyphen weights command we're gonna pass the uh, weights file right so right now i am using gilan hyphen c dot pt you can use either of the two and these two you can use either of the four and then you you can uh, pass the hyphen hyphen source the image video and webcam first i'll gonna do is for this jpg doc.jpg so this which is present here 
and you need to pass this as well if you're gonna run on your local hyphen hyphen device cpu but if you're gonna run on other gpu that you need to specify explicitly probably zero but for cpu hyphen hyphen device cpu so now as you can see i have run this command already and then the result has been saved in runs detect and experiment so i, I can show you the result this is the result uh, it's quite nice uh, the warning boxes are quite closer and you can see the small card has also been detected so yes the detection performance is very nice and classification also at least for an image what next we are going to do, we, uh, do is we can test the performance on a video so again everything will be same it just hyphen hyphen source will pass a video for it so right i have downloaded one random video file from youtube to test which contains the car and probably the people also so it's like outside road videos so i'm going to test on that so i already did it so as you can see uh, while testing the video it reads all the frames one by one and it has 716 frames and then after reading it saves and provides us, us the output so I, I can show you the output it's been saved because i have already tested it for a few other data sets as well so yeah so it's been saved in this so i can show you here okay so mm, yes so this is the video this uh, this is the result of our tested video you can see the small person has also been detected so yes the detection performance is quite nice you can see that car which is quite far but it's also been detected but what i can say is let me pause for a bit uh, yes so as you can see the classification performance is not quite nice right now the default threshold value is 0.25 i have not changed it so as you can see it is detecting the same car same car, like car as car as well as truck and in fact truck has the highest higher percentage than that of car which should not be there also you can see there here like for this particular car uh, the classification is right that but you can see two particular bounding boxes so i think for these uh, this particular use case we can tweak the uh, imu uh, uh, sorry nms thresh threshold uh, but right now i have used it which is by default but i think this problem can be solved like multiple bounding boxes for the same class we can increase the nms threshold and but you can see for this particular thing uh, the classification per performance i feel is not quite good also this train it is far uh, little far and the model is detecting as a bus but uh, later on yeah when the train comes closer it is detecting as a train so i think when the object is far especially if we, if we talk about this train the detection was wrong uh, detection was right but i think classification performance was wrong so it was de detecting train as class because it was too far and i think uh, it needs a little bit little bit of tweaking but uh, i feel uh, the model is quite good enough to detect small and distant object but it is affecting its classification performance so yes this is the analysis of my um, of my my analysis on yolo 9 v9 for model now i am going to show you uh, the performance uh, on webcam so yes so the same code will be there like the same python 3 detect.py which we are gonna pass the same only the source will be different so in source you need to specify your cam port so right now i am using the um, camera of my mobile phone so for that the port is 2 so i'm gonna so i have provided 2 and then we're gonna run this just a second oh let's just find this okay so probably i'm already inside it so yes i need to just go back in the previous directory so yes so now we'll see the live results on webcam so yes okay so good person yes let me see oh there's no tie 
cup but that's a bottle but I mm, yeah let's see its performance on this cell phone but that's not a cell phone probably when I turn it oh now it's fine so I think the reason behind this classification performance because I see a cell phone so probably I think it's detecting remote when it is able to see this these buttons so probably the data set contains the buttons not it data set of the remote do not contains the back side so the model is getting confused uh, when I'm turning it to the other side so now from the back side the model is detecting is it as a cell phone so that that shouldn't happen and yes let me maximize it yes and meanwhile I think yes now when I'm tilting it so meanwhile from remote to tie to uh, mobile phone so quite a change in the results so the classification performance is not that good yes and in fact the wrong classifications has has also uh, high threshold like you know right now the remote is being detected as a cell phone with 89 92 percent of confidence so even increasing the threshold will not gonna solve solve this problem so it's probably retraining yes so yes so let me yes so you can see uh, the time like it is detecting person so person and the time taken to detect similarly for you can see the number of objects and the time taken to detect each of the object so yes um, this is this was the my analysis on the performance and I feel that uh, the model is detecting very well detection performance is quite nice but uh, to deal with detecting these small objects it is getting confused in the classification so yes i hope the main aim of my video is clear to you and you are able to understand or uh, it is easy for you to now replicate this step and run the yolo v9 model on your local machine and test on each type of data set um, probably in my next video uh, we will see custom training uh, custom training on YOLO v9 using our own custom data set and I'll share the whole tutorial on collab so that uh, you can easily replicate it on your own collab so uh, I hope this video is useful for you if yes do like share and subscribe to stay updated for my current videos thank you so much